Harmin say that uh, the calibration required four laps. Four laps, Garmin, come on. We, we are going to finish tomorrow morning here. The calibration, only for the calibration. And the test we will do next week. <laughs> anyway, we are, we are getting older here. Garmin, you should understand it. Today we are with the linear camera because the 360 camera is back to Tuhista uh, for the foggy issue in the lens. So here we are guys, uh, welcome back. Today is another day and I can see it because yesterday was so beautiful and uh, warm. There was no wind at all, uh, so it was pretty much a great uh, spring day today it's different it's a bit windy uh, colder and cloudy as well so uh, I'm not sure if you can see it but yeah it's really really cloudy and also colder so but you know any every time I have a, to do a video it's like that we are lucky that it's not raining so, here we are anyway guys if you remember last time if you watch the video no it's bad you should anyway you are still in time you can find the link up here we did the test uh, for the gps precision of the garmin 245 and we compared the gps with the stride pod here uh, today is different what we want to do is uh, to compare the gps precision of the garmin uh, using uh, the feature on the track. This is a feature that you can find in the Garmin 245. Uh, it's called Track Run, uh, but it requires uh, a calibration, of course. But the worst thing is that Garmin say that uh, the calibration required four laps. Four laps, Garmin, come on. We, we are going to finish tomorrow morning here, the calibration, only for the calibration. And the test we will do next week. <laughs> anyway, we are, we are getting older here. Garmin, you should understand it. So, I mean, two laps of calibration should be enough. One lap would be best. But before to do that, make sure that you have selected the, the right lane. Uh, for instance, I will uh, uh, run on the lane number one uh, today because this is, could be a difference for the calibration process. Let's do these four laps because I'm freezing guys I'm yeah I'm so lucky yesterday was 10 degrees more I think but anyway at least it's sun shining again uh, some clouds far away uh, let's do this for us so calibration done I'm still alive Calvin, thank you so much we did really freezing and windy so now we will do two laps as we did last time so last time we did two laps with the normal gps with the standard one gps plus bonus today we will do uh two laps uh using the feature track run so uh, garmin uh released this feature and uh, according to what uh has been described by garmin uh, it should be more precise on the track so let's compare the result of uh, both tests so with the uh, uh, standard mode and with the track run mode and see the difference in terms of uh, uh, precision. Uh, I will proceed really quickly these times because I'm really freezing, guys. <laughs> it's, I don't know, it's strange during these times. One day is warm, one day is cold. Today is cold, of course, because I have to do the video. But anyway, let's put the camera here so you will see me running. And yes, let's proceed with the test.
getting older for this stuff. Anyway, we did 800 meters distance, really precise. Three minutes, 34 pace. And let's see the results together. So guys, as you can see on the left hand side we have the standard run mode using the GPS plus GLONASS with a result of 790 meters and on the right hand side of the slide we have the track run mode using GPS plus GLONASS as well with a correct result of 800 meters. So the track run feature seems to work well. Looking at the two different tests here in blue with the standard run mode you can already see how the GPS track is not that precise. And here, in green, with the track run mode activated, you can see how much precise it is. And overlapping them, you can even notice the differences. So Garmin, well done, the track run feature is working well and highly suggested for track and field workouts. So guys, thanks for watching. As usual, don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like the video. Uh, consider to subscribe to the channel and, and to activate the notification bell. You will see the comparison between uh, different watches. For instance, now in these weeks, I'm trying the Apple Watch Nike version. I want to compare as well uh, the GPS precision and uh, yeah, and so on. So, so stay tuned and uh, see you soon in the next video. Bye. You will not believe me, but the wind is gone now. So the time that I did the calibration and the two laps and it's gone. Oh, come on.